But, yeah, I mean, we've seen lots of uh, five-man moves pre-game, and oh no, <laughs> this is sad. Well, that is a uh, easy first blood, should give it towards your mid, even though it is a deep witch doctor. Was uh, roaming about, I guess he made sure that the water rune towards mid was defended. Oh, suicide from the... Yeah, it's true. The sad part is he really doesn't have a lot to do in this lane, unless he's, you know, working the pulls, but... You just always occupy. Jakiro's messing with him. Yeah, three kills already. Skill. He's looking for the whip target, but won't be able to line it up because the wolves actually block in a very unfortunate position. Skyward is the one that. Okay, yeah, Bunny Hop is still ridiculous. Random torrent, not going to connect. Bottom lane. They do get the kill onto Feeling because he does not have a spin. To yeah, making all of this uh, fun shenanigans possible. Fighting by Midas. They. Uh, they are getting crushed. Speed should die though, and will fall to the maledict. Would have been definitely should help a little bit. This is gonna go for the straight TP, but gets interrupted. And that Kunkka is in a world of hurt right now. Can the run buff keep him alive? He is still going, he is still running. And Argus does in the meantime die to the bottom lane, but they find DNM in return. Feeling another one down. That Jakiro is running for his life, juking his way through. Is going to get spotted out regardless. And there's the nasty slow with the stomp, with the control. And Jakiro will falter as well. Kits does not really give a damn about that damage that you throw out. Level 3 Dragon's Blood. Okay, yeah, sure. I got way too much HP and armor. Oh, that is oh, sadness. No. That is such sadness. Yeah. And that's just going to further delay the Battle Fury as well, too, and get time. Yeah, definitely. Okay, going in. Zeus Alti gets used, gets the scouting tool. Giant's dropping pretty low. He is looking to very likely die. But in comes Kids with the jump forward. RRL, can he get away on the Ember? Needs to disengage further. They will. F Actually, the tiny gets himself towards the base and he's. He's too scared to show on lanes with 1,000 HP. But, um... Oh, kids. They got the jump. He's in a bit of trouble. Toss comes up. They do find the Ember, though. And they're just going to walk away. Kits should be just fine. Maldek doesn't do nearly enough damage. They lose the Jikiro, but he is pretty much the sacrificial lamb in that spot. But, yeah. But it'll take forever. Oh, there's a lot of damage coming through. Like and shapeshift as well. Charging forward. Ice Path is on cooldown. Speed is dropping very low into the pit. They're actually going to stand right next to Rose, nothing really happening. Speed does die, but they find a trait kill for a kill. Buyback from the Witch Doctor. Fade is being completely stun locked on that Lycan. Can't even move. Toss up onto RRL. He's trying to get a possible catch onto Albino Zebra, but will not even be able to get... And you even see some people deviate from the normal battle for into mage build 2 these days. Have a toss. Argus is dead. If he doesn't want to fight, doesn't matter. He'll still be in the middle of the fray. Albino Zebra will fall in trade, but they find the Argeus kill, and that is a huge one, because they really just... That's the only glimmer of hope that Five Man Mites have, and he's not even that far ahead of his Lycan. It's true. Yeah, they're just hunting for more and cleaning up the map, pretty much. Bots DPing in, RRL using all of his Fire Remnants just to get away. It will get X marked in the process. Does not have a Yules or anything, and RRL is another one gone. That's good. It's something at the very least. Okay, now it does hold him in place for a couple of seconds. In return, Ice Bath, they get the control. Feeling is dropping low. Skyward dies on one end. Will they kill off the Jakiro? Is the big question. Feeling going for the TP out. Does not get away. DNM with a double kill. Kits taking some heavy damage here. Can he get away? BKB is about to end. Nice avalanche oh. coming out, but RRL should be able to still find the kill regardless. The Ember will uh, 
try and be as much of a nuisance as possible but there is just no chance that he gets out from this because if he walks into the other direction even though he didn't have mana at this point but slowly creeping back in maybe ember with like a bkb and his millstrom can do some work in these fights too bino zebra misses the ice bath does have a very annoying cast animation for the most part it is actually one it is a pretty annoying skill shot to hit because of the delay speed top side charge that by fade but Fade actually does not really care. He's gonna chase down the Viper, uh, the Lycan, and he's just gonna buy when he has gold. But and you can just see how much more damage it would be doing if you had the shard there, right? He's able to get so many spells off here. Yeah, Kids doesn't really care that much. Otherwise, DNM is AFK, it seems, for a couple of seconds there. There's a retreat right now. Omni Slash comes bouncing in. DNM with the ghost ship TP back to base. Let's get the TP away, Giant will not be as lucky it seems sue salty will clean him up for good measure but they did lose themselves to almost take him down regardless though and feeling will be easy pickings for now dnm x mark on skyward pops the bkb doesn't really have much to fear is even going to torrent him backwards with that tidal wave dnm is very stuck in the trees now though Trying to stay alive for the time being. It doesn't have BKB available. That zap from the Nimbus was still going on. And DNM does eventually get taken down by RRL. However, they are losing everyone else in the meantime. So it's a nice kill that they secure, but they probably will lose their base right now. Yeah, and they back in the offlane like that. And then you just have the basically Kunkuk in 1v2, the offlane, once he got to level 5. Alright, the Lycan and Zeus just have zero kit potential, but alright, buyback's coming out. This is gonna be the last stand. Seeing if they can make anything happen here. They are gonna look to delay the game at the very least. The tier fours did drop. Kits is still standing on the side. They're just finishing it off. Speed, he's got that shard on the Viper, and that is insane pushing power. He does not give a damn about your buybacks. Easy cleanup. And that is something I do like, just folks. you can heal that up every single leap which it kind of forces you to go for the leap but if you don't do that it's just going to be painful and uh all well, that healing self is already taken care of in the meantime fade dies in the bottom lane for sure of that uh the, the wyvern for the uh short amount of time fade static link he's just gonna slowly melt into a puddle speed actually does not have the mana right now but he does have the movement speed because it is a razor and it's actually very easy for Razor to get hasted permanent movement speed, which is ridiculous if a hero can get that. To be fair, Coddle on the other side does the exact same thing. Giant dropping low. Mystic Snake. I just, just leaps into that Mystic Snake and just... Yeah, that's painful. <laughs> that is a very painful leap. Just... Way stronger uh, lineup on 5-man Midas. I guess once ulties come into play, it does turn around significantly with Curse, with the Dawnbreaker ulti. Speaking of Dawn, she just got evaporated. Uh, DP has Exorcism as well. He is top net worth currently, and he's that DP is going to be the one. You get just gone on by the, uh, you know, Clockwork with the Razor on top of you. There's plenty to take him down. Clockwork is just 1v2-ing in that top lane, not fearing at all. DNM dropping a little bit low, Mystic Snake is a nuisance, but there is RRL, good rotation coming up from the DP, and that should be the Dusa falling. Gets rotated as well to get the kill onto Skyward, or actually got the kill onto Skyward in mid. It's not too terrible on their side just yet. Net worth-wise, it's less than a thousand gold advantage. Oh, speed. He's going to get charged that. Exorcism wants to bring in the damage. Speed does get the kill out the feeling. He's actually forcing RRL back there. And should be able to get himself out of dodge before it becomes dangerous. RRL eating up. He's actually going to get blown up. Fade popped his ulti and won't even be able to do anything. Night Sarver has been dragging creeps the entire leading stage and you know, just trying to get the scraps that he can. I was so hoping you'd say it doesn't get a kill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, faceless boy, it does get a kill, but it costs his life. Yeah, however, they, they they are finding a couple of other kills kits. Get the flat attack speed from items where they didn't used to. But yeah, 
They're trying to go for speed. They do have vision, of course, if TP's come through. Speed! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> that was abort, not Abort, abort. Yeah, that was not the move you wanted. In comes Skits. Gets to jump onto RRL, but there's the heal on top. Will he be able to do the damage in return? Nice curse. And that's why you go for the Wyvern in a game against the Dawn, because that kind of resets the fight. Giant coming in from behind, has hook shots, gonna hold on to feeling. Static Link comes in, RL is completely stuck. His damage is gonna get yoinked away. And speed should be able to finish him off. It's actually, yeah, it's, it is speed. <laughs> well, at least he gets some mangoes. It is, uh, yeah, but this, that's nice soccer is out of the game. Coddle is like okay-ish in terms of farm for position four. But even then, it's just lo looking rough. Giant might lose his life in the top lane. Hookshot is not going to be able to get him out of dodge. He will at least get a kill on him. But RL in mid won't be able to get the TP away. And that is a much more valuable... Get queued up. So that could potentially help with their lockdown issues. He's only the Claymore away from it at this stage of the game, which is still a lot. But they need lockdown, right? This is one step closer to it. Well, exorcism is being used, but does he stay alive to even have any damage dealt? No, it's not the case. That is exorcism plus the Night Stalker's ulti on cooldown. They do get the kill onto the uh, the um, Wyvern bottom lane. Skyward will be slowed down if Remnant connects, and that is going to be an uh, easy cleanup crew continuing. And now you do not have exorcism or the Night Stalker. One step closer to having, you know, a bit of the puzzle done for the disabled department, but not going to really affect against the BKBs. Looking for speed. He's got a BKB though. Chrono to be used possibly. There is a Wyvern nearby, so you always have the Cold Embrace slash Winter's Curse problem. Speaking of the Winter's Curse, he throws it out. Feeling's just going to get absolutely blown up by his own uh, faces void. He drops low. Nice hook shot into the cogs, and that is too much damage. Kits comes to say hi, and they thought they had a... Barely a, in a super comeback attempt. But even then, teams still go for, like, decide, you know, MKB because there's evasion on the enemy team. And otherwise, you miss, like, 50% of the time anyway. Bookshot doesn't connect, but the Aether Remnant does. And they get another one to boot. I'm surprised they haven't taken down Roche just yet. I guess Tiny, right? Tiny and uh, Clockwork have taken hold now. Yeah, the, the problem with Clockwork uh, with a lot of heroes is just farm lacking he's again gonna just focus chrono that wyvern okay another big cooldown use by the way did you see that feeling is currently building the midas as the wow. first one on the five man midas lineup to build the midas all right so they just need four more and then they win that's just the way it works the the other teams need five rats and uh up down left right b b a a and then uh, you spawn yep. an apache attack helicopter Sounds good to me. I'd like to see it. Well, we see the, the, the Hannah Might is right there on the banner in the screen. Coming to play, feeling, trying to run away. Will not really be able to uh, disengage whatsoever. Dawnbreaker is very poor. Might soccer. Yep. Fade. He's going to get caught. And he's very... Oh, BKB usage coming into play. That's because uh, he doesn't have oh, his okay. Midas yet, but the hook shots, of course, going to interrupt it. That curse was not really necessary. Chrono comes in, again, only on the Wyvern. <laughs> Fade walks into that Chrono, just uh, to add insult to injury. He's trying to run away. He's very fast. Do so ulti on one end, but Fade is going to get blown up on the other. Healing, he doesn't have a shard. He doesn't have anything. He is going to be down in the dirt. This is their only, what, I think, three out of five at this stage. Skyward's still working on his. And the sad part is Dawnbreaker is going to be really far away from her Midas and it's going to take time. She even gave up on a Midas. Doesn't have it queued up anymore. I just He's got the drum of Endurance Rest, but just sell it. Midas is so much more value at this stage. No real reason I to agree. keep that one going. In mid, RL is, uh, by the way, getting gone on and uh, slowly but surely dying. The DP is uh, in a very sad position yeah post right she's got it queued up again she's decided you know what got to stick to the game plan almost there but um i guess the one thing keeping them in the game is faceless void has farm right he is actually second in net worth now skyward stuck the coddle is dead he's so close as animitis just sell the urn you're not going to use it anyway you're not getting charges you guys never got kills uh oh this game. boy feeling 
getting caught to before he finishes his hand of Midas. Oh no. The pain. The pain, it's unbearable at this stage. Arjus? He he is playing boots. Yeah, we thought it everyone at Midas, is, but it actually starts there. Yeah, they they need a full set of clothes. Alright, Faceless Void looking for the Wyvern, probably for the Chrono again. This time they actually use the Wyvern as a bait against the Void. That is so filthy. They know exactly, he only wants to Chrono the Wyvern, so he just uses himself as a bait in this situation. Yes. Oh, that that's just ultimate BM right there on top of the fact that you're already destroying your opponent. Yep, and GG is called Pirate for a step. Extremely convincing game. All right.